I've got this weird kind of, it feels like a lump just at the top of my ear here. Uh, I don't think it's anything serious, but it's it's right where the masks I have to wear at work keep keep rubbing. I wonder if that's an unexpected legacy of the pandemic. Uh, has anyone else experienced that? Um, if you haven't, you're going to be paranoid about it now, so I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome back to During the Lockdown. Uh, as expected, we seem to be all playing indoors again. Uh, although, I don't know how it is where you are, but here in, in Norwich, it certainly feels more like a, a lockdown in name only. I don't really see any sudden lack of people out and about. But uh, as I say, as, as long as where you are isn't, isn't too draconian. So, thanks again for, for stopping by, uh, and as always, as any good YouTuber should say, please like, share, and comment on this video. Uh, all your engagement is wonderful and really helps us out. Quick shout out as well to all of the new friends that I've made through the uh, YouTube group on Facebook uh, called UK Tubers. You guys are brilliant, and thank you very much for all of your input and all of your support. Uh, and if you are watching this and you are a content creator yourself, then please uh, do consider having a look at TubeBuddy, which is a, an app which we've been using that's been helping us out and helping us out with um, with like sorting out our tags, keywords, and all those kind of things. Uh, it's really good for all that kind of stuff, and the best thing of all is, is it's free. Uh, there's a link in the description below. If so as I mentioned last time, uh, we have our new shiny website is up and running. Uh, it's been going now for, for a few weeks, uh, including our own bespoke shop. So again, please do give it a look, especially with Christmas just around the corner. That's the best time to, to get in. And obviously we guarantee that we can get everything out to you uh, basically as, as soon as you've ordered. Plus, in addition to the books that are on the shop, we do have our first piece of uh, of merchandise, which is our uh, secret weapon notebook badge. Again, uh, we did these uh, a couple of months ago, and we're looking at developing sort of new lines of bits and pieces. We've got a number of designs in the pipeline, as it were. Uh, including a logo badge for, for Maybe Movies, which is already on order. And speaking of Maybe Movies, thanks to everyone who's been joining us for our weekly dives into Delirium. Uh, it looks like the new format is, is working well, so we'll be, we'll be keeping that up. For those of you who did watch our episodes in October, you'll know that we ran a giveaway in conjunction with the website uh, to celebrate our fourth birthday. As of yet, we've not had a chance to announce the winners for that, mostly because we can't, because we had nobody actually enter, which is not a problem at all, and we're not deterred by that, uh, but we still have prizes that need homes. So to make it nice and simple, what we're going to do is we're going to say that the first five people who comment on this video will receive their choice of one of the two books that we have on offer, which by the miracle of my hands are right here. So these are the two books in question, and there'll be a bit more detail about them here. So with our audience slowly growing and maybe movies now, and it's, it's fourth month, it's, it's got me thinking about what our presence on, on the platform signifies and uh, I mean, sort of asking myself, what is it about YouTube that is a, a good fit uh, for Zadrum? Um, I don't know if it's, if it's too soon to, to be getting overly um, introspective, but uh, we're here now, so, so, so I might as well run with it. I think initially it's, it's because it allows us to communicate with our, our audience, which in turn means that you get to be a part of, of our journey. Uh, your engagement helps to shape uh, what we do, and, and that's something that I'm quite excited about, uh, as it, it ties in very much to what's fundamental about, about Zadrum, about us hopefully creating something that, that, that's quite good. I also like that YouTube offers a very modern approach to, to growing a company. Uh, it affords us an opportunity that that means we can do things that, or you, anyone who, who's on the platform can do things w without 
having to sort of yoke yourselves or your business or whatever it is you care about that, that, that you're talking about on, on your own channels um, without having to go to the banks and things like that to, to, to source funding. Um, and even better than that, probably the best thing about it is that you get to help us and technically speaking, that there's no cost to, to, to yourselves. You know, you get to help us grow. I mean, the only thing that is costing you is a little bit of your time. Uh, and maybe a few taps on a keypad to leave a comment or anything like that, which I think is fantastic. You're helping us reach, uh, I suppose, what is the nirvana for any small YouTuber, which is monetization. I mean, I'm sure for a lot of people, the chance to monetize your channel is the opportunity to get a much needed second income. Uh, and also it's, it's that stepping stone between feeling like you're an amateur on the, on the platform to, to being something a bit more professional. Uh, for us, in addition to those things, it's also a way of, of, of funding the business, which means that we can start thinking seriously about putting into practice and, and into reality some of the work that we've been working very hard at in, in the background over the past year or so, whether that's the, the, the next wave of books that we want to bring out, which includes uh, my, my second collection of work portals, which has a slightly more um, surreal angle to it, or my grandfather's second novel, the uh, new edition of that, uh, The Evil Cross, both of which are pretty much ready to go. Uh, but we're also looking at other things as well, like exploring other mediums. Very interested in getting in heavily into things like Audible, which would include working with the very rich acting community that we have here in Norfolk. I'd love to be able to work with a load of people, friends, actors, people I've not met yet, who I think could do great things with, with what we've got. Also, uh, we've got some new one good ideas for, for merchandising that we'd like to explore as well. And of course, at some point, we, we're going to want to look at bringing other contemporary writers into the fold as well. So that, that's something that you are helping us doing, doing just, just by watching this. And of course, uh, more importantly as well, is having a look at upgrading our equipment so that we can keep the, the, the quality of our, of our content professional as well. This is starting to sound a bit like um, a telephone appeal, so I think I'm going to shut up in a minute. I know with these videos we've tried to include some examples of, of the work that we've been involved in in the past. Unfortunately, because of current circumstances, we have nothing new to, to show you in, in that respect. So instead what I'm going to do is, at the end of this video, throw up some end screens to a double feature which I worked on with uh, Chris Smith, a, a noted local filmmaker, uh, and his film uh, Set Me Free, which I worked on as both a scriptwriter and as actor. So please give that a look. I'll give you a bit of an idea again on, on some of the stuff that uh, I've worked on. Not just me, just generally what kind of... The, the, um, the quality and the standard of work that you know, is available and is being produced by people in this area. Uh, so until the next time, uh, again, as <laughs> if you've been watching these, you'll know that for the past couple of them, I've been trying to actually wrap them up so I can look at doing something else. But they keep insisting on putting us back into seclusion. So uh, damn you, Boris. Uh, uh, but as always, please look after yourselves and look after one another and stay safe. Thank you.